In this video, I'm going to show you the audio file types in Reaper. So the purpose of this video is to go through the different types of audio files or file formats we could use in Reaper for importing them, for recording to them, or rendering them from Reaper. So let's take a look. If I open up my hard drive, we could see I have some piano files right here that are all in different formats. I have a WAV, an AIF, a CAF file, an MP3, and a FLAC. And what's great about importing them into Reaper is we can use all of them or any similar file format at the same time without converting it first. So I could select all of them, drag them into Reaper and drop them. And we could see we have a WAV, AIF, a CAF file, an MP3, and a FLAC, all imported into Reaper without having to convert them first. So we could work with just about any audio file type directly in Reaper without having to convert it first. Now let's take a look at recording into Reaper. Let's create a new track. I'll name it guitar. I'll put it into record, set the input where my guitar is plugged into, and start recording my guitar. And we can see by default, Reaper records a WAV file. But we could change that if we want. We can go up here to this button, or go to the file menu and choose project settings, which opens up this dialog. We can go to the media tab and go down here to recording audio format for new recordings. As we just saw, by default, Reaper is going to create a WAV file, which is typically what we're going to want to use when recording and even when mixing in Reaper. They're the most standard file format that works with both PC and Mac, and that's uncompressed. So they might take up more space on a hard drive. They're also going to sound the best. Well, no compression was used to make the file size smaller. But we could change it to AF. And now, if we record our guitar, we could see Reaper created an AIF file. Or we could choose an MP3. Now, if we record our guitar, Reaper created an MP3 file. So that could all be adjusted right down here to choose what file type we're recording. But like I said, by default, Reaper uses WAV files, which typically is the most useful file format to use. But let's also check out rendering. So a project right here that I want to render, or bounce it down to a final mix. So we'll go up here to the file menu and choose render, which opens up this window. Where we could choose master mix, whole song, where we want to render it to, and down over here, the file format we want to use. By default, again, it chooses WAV 24-bit. And as I said before, WAV files are the most standard file format that works with both PC and Mac, and that's uncompressed. So they may take up more space on your hard drive, they're also going to sound the best as no compression was used to make the file size smaller. So if we render this file, we can see over here, it renders it and shows the metering for the final file. We could open the folder on a hard drive where it was rendered to, and we could see Reaper created a WAV file. But again, we could choose any file type we want. Let's switch it to AIF. Now, AF files are very similar to WAV files. They're also uncompressed, but they were created more for Mac-based systems. So while their quality will be the same, you may find some issues using them on PC with certain applications, but they're still a very popular standard. So if we render this one, again, it creates that file and the metering. We could see it on our hard drive, and Reaper creates an AIF file instead. And we could also choose 
a CAF file. A CAF file is an audio file saved in the core audio format, a digital audio format based on Apple's core audio technology. It stores audio data, text annotations, markers, channel layouts, and other information. And it's similar to AAF or WAV files, but it doesn't have a four gigabyte size limit and could store any number of audio channels. So let's choose this. And we can see Reaper created that CAF file. Now we could also create MP3s. MP3 files are the most common used compressed format. While they still sound very good, they use up less space on our hard drive, which is great if we're sharing files or hosting them for others to stream as the required bandwidth will be quite small. But I wouldn't recommend recording files in this format or even mixing them down as your final mix or master, unless you know you need an MP3 or similar compressed format. Let's choose this. And now we'll see Reaper created an MP3. And we could also use the WavePack lossless compressor. WavePack is a completely open audio compression format providing lossless, high quality lossy, and a unique hybrid compression mode, which you could choose right here. So choose the quality of the final file. And again, we could render it right from here. And Reaper creates that WavePack file. And we could also choose OGG or OGG Vorbis, which is also compressed like an MP3, except the technology is open source. So many people prefer it over MP3 for things like streaming. And again, we could render it right here and see the file right here, the OGG final file. And we could also create FLAC files. FLAC files or an audio format similar to MP3, but lossless meaning that audio is compressed in FLAC without any loss in quality. This is similar to how zip files work, except with FLAC, we'll get much better compression because it's designed specifically for audio. And again, we could render it right here and see the file right here, the FLAC file. And we could also render DDP files. DDP files are used when sending music to a CD manufacturer. They allow us to set all the parameters for the CD, such as the exact gap between each song, the crossfades, and other information. A DDP file allows the producer and mastering engineer to have complete control over all the parameters for the CD. So again, we can render it right here. And notice it creates multiple files. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. All to be sent to the CD manufacturer making your CDs. And then finally, we could render an audio CD image, which is the Q bin format. The Q bin format is used to store a disk image, which is composed of a Q sheet file and one or more bin files. The Q file is a plain text file which stores the information of disk and tracks. The bin file is a binary file which stores the raw sector by sector copies of the tracks in the disk. And we can adjust the lead in silence for tracks and the extra lead in silence for the disk. Along with the modes, we could choose right here. And we could also create this file and then burn the CD image after rendering the file. We'll render it see it on our hard drive. And notice this time it creates two files, the bin and Q file. Although it'll create more if you're rendering more songs. So that's pretty much it. That's the audio file types in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.